And so what this teaching shows through relationships with people and with what happens in our life is that more and more when we see that the people who hurt us they are operating on their own conditioning which God has created and their genetics, their nature, we don't know how their parents treated them what they went through in childhood, we have no clue we know we are hurt but when we start seeing that this person is saying things based on the way they see life yeah. and I am getting hurt because of my conditioning yeah. in both instances God created the conditioning not just in my instance yeah. Yeah. you know it's sometimes hard to accept this but when we see by and by that in this moment what has been said has hurt me and it is a fact I am hurt I don't question that hurt. I am hurt means I am hurt. Not why should I be hurt? I should not be hurt. Mm -hmm. That dialogue does not go on. I am hurt. Mm -hmm. Hurt arose. In this body-mind organism, hurt arose because someone said something. But when I accept this, mm -hmm. that in this moment, this was destined to happen. Right. Yeah. I accept what is... Yeah, yeah. I don't hold another person hostage mm -hmm. by blaming and condemning them yeah. for hurting me. Yeah. And I don't hold myself hostage for feeling hurt. Yeah. 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 You see, I accept I was meant to be hurt in this moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I have options before me. By and by, I might tell the person, hey, look, honestly, I feel this was uncalled for what you said. Mm -hmm. Or you may have a different kind of dialogue. But when that dialogue takes place, it will no longer be with finger pointing. Mm -hmm. You said this to me. Mm -hmm. You see, the whole approach changes. It doesn't mean be becoming a Doormat. It doesn't mean that. But our way of expression changes because we are now more objective and neutral. And we tell this person that, look, it's fine. What has happened has happened and this is the way I see things. You know, so we don't hold back expressing ourselves. But we find that the space from which we are now expressing ourselves is quite different from earlier. Right. Sure. This is the kind of ways our attitude transforms. Mm -hmm. you know. Now supposing someone is in a situation where there is repeated hurt. Where even after a neutral expression, the dynamic is not changing. Mm -hmm. I have two options. Either I accept this dynamic is not going to change mm -hmm. and deal with it the way I feel best or I walk away. Either way, I have to take a decision in life. It is all about taking a decision. But when I find my decision is no longer based on blame and condemnation mm -hmm. of the other or myself, mm -hmm that I am not good enough, what is wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you. Nothing was ever wrong with you because this is the way God made you. How could anything be wrong with anyone? If God has shaped your nature and conditioning from day one, what can be wrong with you? So if anyone tells you, this is wrong with you, that is wrong with you, it's, it doesn't make sense. Nothing is wrong with you. God has made me the way I am. Some people may like it, some people may not. Isn't that such a relief to know that? Because 
people tell you oh you are the one reacting to everyone you are the one reacting to everything something must be wrong with you and then you answer maybe i don't know because you open but you do know deep down that you are precisely the way god has made you so there is no one who is right there is no one who is wrong the whole dialogue of someone is right or someone is wrong which is again the polaric opposites in the realm of duality that starts dissolving it's no longer about right and wrong it's you have your view i have my view i am not here to convince you of my view you don't have to convince me of your view we are both allowed to express i will listen to your point of view of course i will listen to the best of my ability in an objective manner but you don't have to convince me you don't have to go on and on about it you don't have to keep repeating yourself Mm-hmm. and we may be in a place where we have differing points of view and we accept that they are differing mm-hmm. we have to accept it so you are with someone who doesn't see your point of view you tell that person look it's not necessary we both have to agree on everything mm-hmm. let's agree to disagree but there are other aspects of our relationship which we enjoy let's focus on that that is what starts happening and then may we may find ourselves not able to transform a particular relationship that may also happen then we feel okay it's not meant to be in this instance it's not meant to be i tried i tried to the best of my ability not meant to be there is no guarantee god has given that all your relationships will be transformed in that sense everyone will love you mm-hmm. <laughs> there is no guarantee about that mm-hmm. some will love you more than others just as you love some more than others mm-hmm. are we okay with it or are we trying to extract love from everyone mm-hmm. but when you accept this person may not have that equation with you yeah that need drops so you find that you are becoming more at ease and more relaxed mm-hmm. with this whole thing of not get along getting along with certain people in your life yes not just people are in situations so that is why joel goldsmith would say that everything is a neighbor neighbor does not mean your next door neighbor it means the thoughts in your head are your neighbors because they are near you actually that's been more of a struggle where i've had to examine myself i think very very closely and not examine like i've been surprised by myself many times where i w- i thought i was in a very you know sort of secure space in my mind but that gets shaken up and then and just like what happened to me <laughs> because there's no security be security to be found in the mind right aren't we the most secure in deep sleep mm-hmm. which is the absence of the me that is the most secure we all are in deep sleep when you absent you know like my teacher would say someone very 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 troubled in life very troubled if he would to tell this person that death is nothing but a long deep sleep that person would welcome it when it happened because it is the absence of me and my troubles and everyone knows what that is otherwise why would we want peace you can only want something which you know <laughs> 
You cannot want something which you don't know what it will bring about for you. Deep down, we all know what it is to be at peace. Because all this is disturbing our peace. All our travails and tribulations of life are disturbing this peace. So either we are going through life extremely disturbed with each and every event that happens in life, or we are going to find a peace through those events. When we realize that all I can do is do my best, thereafter it is God's will. Mm -hmm. 